What's going on YouTube, Geosner right here. In today's video we're discussing about the iOS 17.2 update that was just released by Apple a couple of minutes ago. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Check the program out in the link below. So today Apple released iOS 17.2 and iPadOS 17.2. They are now available and the update is out. You can get it right here in settings. You can see it's about 1.17 gigs on my device and it does contain some security improvements. There are a couple of vulnerabilities patched in this version, so it does have a security content. There's also a couple of important changes to the iOS itself. First of all, we got the new journal application that was introduced. Now this was announced back at WWDC, I think, but it was never released in iOS before. So with 17.2, we got that as well. There's also an action button change in here, translate option for the action button on iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max to quickly translate phrases or have conversations with someone in another language. Quite interesting, but it only works obviously on iPhone 15. There seems to be also a camera improvement over here. It's a spatial video that lets you capture video on iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max so you can relieve your memories in three dimensions on Apple Vision Pro. There's also a message application change, in fact a couple of them, most importantly here being the catch-up arrows which allow you to easily jump to your first unread message in a conversation by tapping the arrow. So it just jumps up top and you can see exactly where you left off quite nice. There are some uh, weather application improvements over here. You can find this change log on your device if you look on the updates. But yeah, there are a couple of uh, updates over here as well. And the update also includes the following improvements and bug fixes apparently for airdrop. Improvements include expanding the contact sharing options and ability to share boarding passes and cinema tickets and other eligible passes by bringing two iPhones together. This does require iOS 17 on the other device you're sharing with though. A favorite song playlists in Apple Music let you quickly get back to the songs you mark as favorite. And and many other changes. Now I do recommend you to go ahead and parse through this huge change log over here. We don't have enough time in this video to go through all of it, the video would be forever, but there are important changes in here so you should definitely check it out and decide whether you update or not. If you're interested in jailbreaking you should know that it's not a good idea to update iOS 17.2 because of course you would lose any available exploits or vulnerabilities that are on previous versions. With that being said, iOS 17.2 does patch some important vulnerabilities, one in accounts over here Another one in AV Video Encoder, which says an application may be able to disclose kernel memory. Extension Kit, which says an application may be able to access sensitive user data. A Find My vulnerability, which says an app may be able to read sensitive location information. So again, if you are privacy oriented, definitely update your device right about now. Image IO component over here, it says the issue was addressed with improved memory handling and the issue was that processing an image may lead to arbitrary code execution. And there is also a kernel vulnerability over here, it says an application may be able to break out of a sandbox. So this seems to be a sandbox escape, which could be usable for jailbreak purposes, but without another kernel exploit and without a PAC bypass, that may or may not be very useful. There are a couple of WebKit vulnerabilities as well, and a Siri one. So yeah, there are a lot of important security vulnerabilities and changes in here, so it's a good idea to update iOS 17.2 if you are privacy and security oriented, but also if you want the bug fixes included with it. So to recap, the new journal application that was announced at WWDC a couple of months ago was finally released. You can check it out in the App Store and then they also introduced the spatial video capture on iPhone 15 Pro which is compatible with Apple Vision Pro if you do have those. That's basically the iOS 17.2 update in my opinion if you are interested in uh, getting the latest and greatest and bug fixes and security you should update but if you want jailbreak in the near future you should stay away from iOS 17.2 and in fact you should stay as low as possible. Anyway thank you for watching I am GS Snow till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.